The Valadrian Empire Written by I am the Tot Read by Pommel Knight The Valadrian Empire, named so after the large continent of Aldar, is comprised of five different provinces Urielm, Rasyara, Tarashak, Duntri, and Zameria. Shown here is the banner of Aurelium, which in turn is also used as a standard banner for the Empire as a whole. To understand the full significance of the banner's imagery, knowing its past is important. The first era of history, which lasted for an indeterminate amount of time, was characterized by a vicious war between chromatic dragons, metallic dragons and giants, all of whom hated each other. So-called mortal races, like humans, were considered so inferior to these dragons and giants that much more often than not, they would pay no mind to mortal races, treating them wholly as inconsequential. Aurelium was a hotspot for hill giants and both green and brass dragons to war. The humans who lived here were often collateral damage. Decades prior to the end of the First Era, an ancient and wise brass dragon, Heimschul, took pity on the humans that were for so long caught in the crossfire. Heimschul took it upon herself to teach the humans who lived there how to cast magic. Some believe these are the first of the mortal races to ever be able to cast magic. The humans worked with Heimschul over the next few decades, slowly building trust and eventually a deep symbiotic relationship. Heimschul convinced some of her brass dragonkin that the humans were talented and capable of helping them in the war. The legends even say that at some point the dragons and humans trusted each other enough that powerful human magi would ride brass dragons into battle against green dragons and giants. For reasons not entirely sure to anyone, the war eventually ended and both giants and dragons wandered from this world. Left without the brass dragons to guide them, the humans of Orielm turned to their most powerful magi for leadership. It was an unprecedented time for mortal races, a hitherto unknown pace. The magi, not believing any one man was wise enough to rule a people, founded a council. Magic continued to play a central role in the magiocracy of Orielm, and over time the people found themselves with a superior air about them. The peoples of neighboring territories had no such mastery of the magic. Surely it was their responsibility to bring the wonders of magic to those people, whether they liked it or not. Rasyara was the first territory conquered and officially established the Valerian Empire. The Magi Council knew that they would be unable to rule over such a large swatch of land completely alone. As a sign of good faith in their newly conquered land, the Magi Council established the position of Emperor for someone who was not a member of the Council. The Emperor would be advised by the Council, but in theory would overrule them. In addition, the Council established a separate order of Judicars, elite warriors who swore a no to the Emperor, not the Magi and would act as the peacekeepers of the land. And so, the current Valadrian banner was created. The bottom three points represent the three major aspects of the Empire. The larger central point for the Emperor, and two flanking points for the Magi Council and Order of Judicars. The two brass dragons sit above them all, looking down, this represents the belief that the brass dragons are still above them all. The sword represents the brass dragons providing the humans with the strength of magic.